if you're an entrepreneur relying on stimulants like caffeine, Adderall, which I have here and used to take daily, modafinil, even Ritalin, here's what you need to know. Basically, these substances are destroying your sleep, they're reducing your sensitivity to dopamine, and they're destroying your health and your brain in the process. So let me explain. First off, in working with clients all over the world and tracking their sleep using the Aura Ring or the Whoop Band, we found that stimulants like caffeine, Adderall, modafinil, Ritalin, they decrease the amount of deep sleep and REM sleep that you get during the night. And even if you think you're sleeping as well as you would be without taking those substances, you actually wake up a lot more throughout the night. You either wake up earlier or you have trouble getting to bed at night. It can be any combination of those three things. And this is all validated in the data that we've reviewed from hundreds of people all over the world in different walks of life, different, different entrepreneurs, business people, really from men and women, it, there's, there are no exceptions. So sleep is a huge problem, especially when you know how many different things happen during sleep that are critical for regenerating the brain, clearing out toxins, and and, and optimizing your cognitive performance. Then you have on the addiction side, these substances have all been found to increase both addictive behaviors and risk-seeking behaviors. So if you think about the person who watches pornography and then needs to go to more and more risque or extreme types of pornography because their arousal threshold keeps increasing. It's very much like that when we're taking these substances. We basically not only need more of them to produce the same results over years, but it affects our decision-making ability and it, it draws us to risk-seeking and addictive behaviors. And then you have on the brain chemistry side, this problem where it's, it's actually reducing your sensitivity to dopamine. So you've probably heard of, of the class of antidepressants called selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors. Well, substances like modafinil, Adderall, Ritalin, um, and even caffeine to a certain extent, they work. So th this whole, let me just take a step back here. This whole category of um, look at look at neurotransmitters as a whole. So you've got serotonin, dopamine, and norepinephrine, and they're all impacted to varying degrees by these substances. They're known those those neurotransmitters, serotonin, dopamine, norepinephrine. They're known as monoamines. And if we take Adderall as an example, Adderall is a uh, a, a monoamine reuptake inhibitor. So the same way that like antidepressants prevent your body from uh, transporting and and uptaking serotonin so more serotonin floats around but then over time you become addicted to these substances and you have decreased serotonin sensitivity and all sorts of other problems well we see the same thing with adderall uh, modafinil ritalin and and to a certain extent caffeine um, if we look at more closely at adderall adderall clogs monoamine transporters so it basically prevents the serotonin, dopamine, and norepinephrine that's floating around in your body from being transported and, and um, taken up by your body. So in the short term, more is floating around, but in the long term, you see decreased dopamine sensitivity, decreased sensitivity to serotonin and norepinephrine. And this has been shown in scientific studies to cause insomnia, memory loss, and these side effects are actually listed on these products. If you want to go a little bit deeper with modafinil, we don't even really know how it works. We have some ideas and some theories. You know, we think it works similarly to Adderall and Ritalin by blocking dopamine reuptake, but we don't even really know. And when you take things on a daily basis or even semi-frequently that lead to insomnia, that prevent deep and REM sleep, that can cause memory loss, you're actually destroying your brain and destroying your health long term. I um, was I took Adderall for a long time and got myself off of it when I discovered this stuff. And we've since helped men, entrepreneurs, even some women all over the world to transition off of these substances and actually use 
brain targeted nutrients that are personalized for them that help their brain work better and set them up for a life of optimal cognitive performance and longevity. And if you're taking Adderall, modafinil, if you're using caffeine daily, if you're using Ritalin, any of these types of stimulants and you want to do something that's much better for your brain, is more conducive to longevity, optimal cognitive performance, uh, grab a time for us to talk. Go to biohackercoaching.com. That's B-I-O-H-A-C-K-E-R-C-O-A-C-H-I-N-G.com. Schedule a call. I've set aside uh, my schedule for this next week to talk with five people who want to get this stuff handled and fixed and take control of their brain, their energy, their cognitive performance. And uh, I'll be working with three of those individuals to do so, like we've done with tons of other entrepreneurs, men and women all over the world. So go to Biohacker Coaching, grab a time for us to talk, and uh, we'll go from there. Thank you so much for watching. If you got value from this video, share it. Tag someone in the comments section who may be taking modafinil, Adderall, caf using caffeine daily, Ritalin, and might not be aware of this information and help it get out there so we can help more people. Thank you so much for your time and I'll talk to you soon.